My father taught his children the lesson of service, that compassion, neighbors helping neighbors, is what we're all about. The midterm elections are just around the corner, and Democratic candidate Anthony Brown is stirring a lot of commotion. Well, this, this whole area has been, like, you know what I'm saying, considered a chocolate city since, like, way back then. But, I mean, it's good to have somebody that looks like me in charge and stuff like that. So, I mean, it gives me, it gives me and, like, my brothers and every, all the other kids something to look, some positive to look up to. I feel like if Anthony Brown is elected, that that shows that our society is showing, like, progress with different races and that... The African American community is like progressing as a whole. If elected, Brown will be the state's first African American governor and the nation's third, following David Patterson from New York and Governor PBS Pinchback from Louisiana. Currently, Republican opposer Larry Hogan is in the lead with 45% of the vote to Brown's 43%, according to poll averages by RealClearPolitics.com. I have seen him in uh, two, two, two debates, and I was very, very impressed with him. He um, held, held his ground, um, and I think I think he's very qualified, um, even more qual qualified than um, I think Hogan, who's running. Some parts of Maryland are still, I think, behind in the times and don't realize that times are changing. Even when Obama was elected, um, I thought people still didn't get that you know a new like America was coming, that change was happening. And I think that um, Anthony Brown is another another good opportunity to see like, okay, we can, you know, make strides in our history. Reporting from Washington, D.C. for HU News Service, I'm Destiny Harrison.